How do y'all, how you doing? Now, the first time I'm going to do like one of these um, Let's Talk Comrades, right here from my um, base of operations here in Tokyo. Not on the street, nothing like that. Right now, if you haven't noticed, for a lot of my videos I've done, I've kept very um, calm. And I haven't went off on a railing that that much. Now, in the real early, early videos, I was a bit more emotional and a bit more expression of my own actual feelings on everything going on in Japan. But in an effort to better serve the movement and better serve the overall agenda of things that are going on here, really put a big effort into tapering myself a lot more. But as time goes on and everything that happens, you know, like for every progress that happens in the whole issue here, it seems that once we make progress, we take three steps backwards here in Japan. That it gets to the point, to be honest with you, I get beyond frustrated. I get beyond your normal feeling of, ah, fuck, again? I get beyond that, and I reach a point of uh, emotional feeling that it's really difficult to maintain my um, composure. When you really start looking at it, the daily struggle of anti-nuclear and the daily struggle of the after effects of the multiple meltdown of Fukushima, and you live with it. And you deal with it every day. When you don't just say, ah, to hell with it. And you go to work. And you go off your business. business, And you have your beer after work. And you say, ah, it's good. You know, I'll read about it in the papers. And I'll maybe talk about, the, talk about it as a water cooler every day at work. You just can't live that way I can't live that way you know especially considering you know I've been to the direct actions against these things in Japan I've been to massive anti-nuclear protest I've been to other type of protests in Japan I've seen the actual struggle of people in this country. I've seen native born Japanese people stand up and say, Hell no! We can't do this anymore! We got a serious damn problem! And it's it's gotta be dealt with. Regardless of the political party. Regardless of the ruling government at the time. We got to deal with this. As a nation. As a people. As human beings. Globally. We can't just put our, you know, heads in the sand. And I, I see that every day, okay? I talk to a lot of people here in Japan. Think about it. I'm in Tokyo, okay? And... Tokyo is a center of the national government, as well as the main cultural center of Japan in general. Every day, okay? I see it and I deal with it, all right? So it's more than just me doing these reports on newsy things coming out in Japan. It's more than me going to a few protests and filming things and showing you exactly what's going on. Yeah, I can admit, it's a bit personal for me. A little personal. Because I live here, you know. I made a choice to make Japan my home. Yeah, I chose it. And 
people tell me, why don't you just leave Japan if it's so bad? You know, I, the only thing I can tell you to answer that is that where else am I going to go? Where else am I going to go? Okay? You know, if I leave Japan, go to another country, have I escaped the problem? You know, I haven't. All I've done is bail on these people who have given me so much. This nation has given me so much. You know, and all of what I've just said, that just brings things full circle. Of why I keep doing what I'm doing. Why I keep making these videos and why I keep here, why I even stay on YouTube. It's not to, you know, stroke my own ego. It's not to make a name for myself because I'm just an average guy. I'm just a worker. I'm just somebody who takes the time to read and understand and educate himself. You know? So, yeah. Here's me showing you some emotion, showing you, you know, what it feels like to live here. What it feels like to live here and not ignore what's going on. Not play this little YouTube game that I see a lot of J-bloggers. Yeah, you know who you are, man. A lot of J-bloggers here on YouTube play. I'm not playing that damn game, man. I'm not going to. And you know what? You can kiss my white red ass if you want to give me shit for not playing that little game of being like, well, we're in Japan. We should integrate. We should go along with what the, the conformist idea says about what Japan is. Man, I'm sorry, dude. But you can kiss my ass. Seriously. Shit is serious in this damn country right now. It ain't no damn game, buddy. You know, I'm one of the few people, what you call like J-bloggers in Japan, actually talking about the real thing that's going on here. And you cunts, you know, you're talking about this and that. Man, whatever. Seriously. Who are you? And what good are you? You know? But you are just human. And I, I can't hate you too much, okay? I really can't. But really, man, all of you, in general, here in Japan, and here in the rest of the world, what are you doing when you talk about nuclear energy in Japan? What are you doing, really? You're just playing games. You're not really giving people information about what's going on in this country and what we're actually dealing with. So that's all I got to say. Yeah, this is a bit of a rant this time. But listen to me a little bit. And maybe it'll sink into your goddamn fucking brain. Ah! <laughs>